here we are, increasing faith in fear-filled times. So one of the questions that um, I get often is, will I always be anxious, right? Is this something that, you know, will always be the same? And the answer is no, right? It will not always be the same degree. There are things that we can do to change that level of intensity of anxiety, like we talked about earlier. Um, and anxiety is not just something that happens in an isolated incident, right? It's a, it's a combination of a number of factors. So if you are burnt out, if you're overworked, if you're tired, um, if you haven't eaten well, right? If your body's not functioning optimally, if you're having relational challenges, if you're having challenges at work, all these things, uh, it's like it, it compounds itself and it makes you more susceptible to feeling anxious and having anxiety provoking thoughts. And when we're younger, it's like we wake up and we start a new day and it's fresh. A new day is a new day. I find the older that we get, is the more yesterday matters, right? I used to wake up like Samson and be like, oh, okay, the stress of yesterday, it's gone. I, you know, I can move on. Now, it takes me a few good weeks to recover after several months of going without, you know, good self-care. So that can increase our level of anxiety and our level of stress. So a lot of people really can't tell the difference between anxiety and stress. But the difference is anxiety feels the same way as stress does in our body, but the anxiety is based on a negative picture of the future. And that's really one of the indicators to know that you're feeling anxious. It's because you're thinking negatively about the future. From a very uh, physiological standpoint, like I said before, our bodies, there's a compound of impact of stress in our lives. Our bodies can only handle so much. Not only are our spirits not meant to dwell in an environment of fear, but our bodies aren't meant to survive optimally in that. So if there are stressors that have been piling and piling and piling, it's important to address those stressors. And that can be anxiety producing when we imagine ourselves as unable to address those things, when we imagine them going poorly Sometimes it's important to get help to learn to address those things or to learn to imagine us effectively addressing those things so we can bring our level of anxiety down. Now, it's very difficult to navigate through a situation when our bodies are worked up. And if you think about it just simply logically, this is the beauty of breathing. When we stop and we still ourselves and we learn to do that and we learn to take in good oxygen, that oxygen gets into our lungs and is filtered into our blood and is pumped to our brain so that we can actually think. If we're not breathing well, we're not going to think well. And it's important for us to be able to think. So one of the first things that you want to be able to do is learn to calm yourself, learn to be still. And we often, I find that many people, we are reactive. Right? We wait till a situation happens and then we try to address it. Whereas even learning how to manage our emotions and our moods is something that we can do progressively. We can be proactive. You don't have to wait till you feel anxious to learn how to manage those things in your body. It's like preparing for a marathon. You don't want to wait till the day of the marathon to start training, right? So throughout the day, you can even set alarms, okay? Set an alarm to remind yourself to breathe. A lot of us hardworking people, we're, we're actually pretty anxious people. And we don't allow ourselves to take breaks. We don't allow ourselves to stop. We just go, 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 go. And nobody's responsible for that. Nobody is responsible for that but us. So taking breaks throughout the day, stopping, breathing, right? Some of the things that I do, like I said, I have scriptures posted on my wall, right? I have things visual visual reminders set alarms in my phone now i'm adjusting my schedule so there are breaks worked into my schedule so i can breathe i can relax and i can take better care of myself so that will help us 
with uh, dealing with some of these anxiety attacks that we feel because it's all it's all related. So thank you for that question. And if there's anything else that comes to mind, by all means, please send me an email. Let me know so I can answer these questions. Um, and I definitely am open to you being in touch with me. Let me know how things are going. And if I can be of support along the way, by all means, please, please, please let me know. All right. So thank you again for joining me. Um, and again, if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to send them to me through email.